Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a, another indie review day. I'm so excited, I'm getting more into indie brands. Um, and when I spotted this new collection out from Polish, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite indie brands right now, which is spelled P-A-H-L-I-S-H, -S the brand, and it's called The Cake is a Lie. This collection, it's not brand new, but it's new enough to me and had an interesting enough theme that I wanted to go ahead and pick it up for review. I really wanted to review a whole collection from Polish, and I was so excited that they had this new one out that, um, I have never played the game Portal 2. That is where the name of, and like all of the polishes and the name of this collection comes from. But my son, of course, as obsessed with video games as he is, I remember like six months ago or something who he was playing himself through Portal 2 and he was telling me about it all the time. And of course I didn't really remember everything he said, but um, I knew that he could explain to me a little bit about what all these names mean. And I thought it would be fun for us to kind of talk about. You know how when your kids are like getting a little bit older and you try to find ways to engage them in conversation about things that they're interested in. My son will be turning 12, so he's not that old yet where he's like, I never want to talk to you ever, Mom. But, you know, sadly, that's going to be coming sooner than later. So anyway, um, I picked up this whole collection. It's a five-piece collection. Um, they all are these gorgeous, um, very jewel-toned polishes. Here are three, and they have amazing flakies in them. So some have like kind of a green and orange flaky going through them. A lot of them have gold flakies. They all basically have a, on the thicker side, a two coat formula, but they're all really, really delicious on the nail. I did notice that I would recommend a top coat on all of them to help you really bring out that beautiful um, flaky nature of the polish because they dry a little bit um, satin I would say not like super satin matte but just a little bit flat so use that top coat and really um, bring out that deliciousness from inside we're gonna go ahead and take a look at live application of all five polishes so that you see how they perform before you purchase I will link the website down below where I purchased them if you are interested in going to check them out for yourself okay so let's start with what I have on my nails it's this nice gorgeous indigo this, um, like the rest of them, it has this kind of crelly, um, squishy formula that is really great at two coats. It's on the thicker side. This is actually just one coat here, but even at one coat, I could still see that it could probably do with a second one, but if you were in a hurry, you could probably get away with one, and I don't have a top coat on here, so it is, it is like shiny, but um, you would want to add that top coat to really bring that out. So anyway, this is called Maybe Black Mesa, and from what I learned from my son, um, by the way, I, you're seeing a close-up right now of it, but um, this just has some gorgeous pink flakies in there, gold flakies, just some really, really gorgeous de depth to this polish. But maybe Black Mesa is, I guess, it's like a secret map on the game. Black Mesa is the company that was the competitor to the company that made the brands of, you know, technology that you're fighting against in this game. Black Mesa was like their competitor company and maybe Black Mesa is like a secret map on the game. So that's what I learned from Googling and from my son. So maybe Black Mesa, let's take a look at how it looks in the bottle. I can't wait for you to see the close up to see how cool this looks. Next up, the blue in this collection is called Intelligence Dampening Severe, and it looks like this. It's just a nice sapphire blue. It's maybe a little bit on the darker side. I see green flakies, pink, gold, oh, so much cool stuff in here. Um, so yeah, what I've learned from my son is that there is a character in the game that kind of helps you along. His name is Wheatley, and he's called an Intelligence Dampening Severe because they like created him to add him to the main technological villain in this game to like dampen that villain's intelligence so that it doesn't overtake the world quite as much. 
that's what I learned. So this, I think this is supposed to be for that character, <laughs> Wheatley. So anyway, let's see how it swatches. Next up, I have the really bright pop of color in the collection. This is called Combustible Lemon 2, and it's just a gorgeous kind of burnt orange, um, really, really fiery. I see lots of gold in here. Just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to show you two coats as with the rest. Um, what my son tells me is that it's something about, something they say in the game, like when life gives you lemons, make lemonades, and somebody in the game says, when I get lemons, I'm going to turn them into like bombs or something and throw them at combustible lemons and throw them at people and use them as weapons or something like that. I know, I'm probably butchering that explanation, but that's what he explained it to me as. So um, let's go ahead and see how it swatches. Next up, I think this is my personal favorite out of the collection. This is a beautiful plum to fuchsia color and it has gold and like some green flex in there. Oh, it's so pretty. This is called Married to Science and it says married and then parentheses to science. And so he explained this means that um, the main like villain in this, in this game <laughs> This is hard for me to talk about the game because I actually haven't played it, but I'm trying to do my best. So the main villain in the game, her name is Gladys, and she, some of her like core processing was based off a woman named Caroline. And the woman named Caroline was known to have said that she was married to science. So like the man she married was so involved in science, she was like married to science. I apologize if I explained that horribly, but this is gorgeous. I love this color so, so, so much. Let's take a look. Last up, the um, green, the emerald green in this collection with amazing like gold to orange flashes inside. Oh, it's so pretty. This is called Dangerous Mute Lunatic and I googled this because my son wasn't actually sure what this was and in the very final parts of Portal 2, I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't played it and you're planning on playing it, but I guess the villain says this to the main character. She calls the main character a Dangerous Mute Lunatic. And um, so that's where this is derived from. And let's go ahead and see how it swatches right now. This is so stunning.
Okay guys, so that was the whole review. I hope that you found it helpful. I'm so in love with these polishes and I'm so in love with this brand. Thank you to Jessica for introducing them to me. Please let me know in the comments if there's any other collection coming out soon that you would like me to review for you. That always helps me a lot directionalize my channel where it is you want it to go because I do want my channel to be fun for me, but I also want it to be informative for you. So let me know. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a really great day. Thanks for spending some of it with me. Kisses to you, and I'll see you back next time. Bye.